Summer is coming and that means we got some hot days coming ahead. So I thought we'd make some popsicles. Now these are made with some real fresh fruit. You can use fresh or frozen. Today I'm gonna to make it with mango in particular, but you can use any fruit you like. I'm also gonna be adding some coconut milk to this to give it a nice layer of creaminess along to contrast with the fruit layer. This is a great recipe for your kids to help you. They will love making them and eating them. This is super easy to make and of course it's it's a little bit healthier than buying stuff at the store. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after my chef joke. What did the mint chip ice cream say to the chocolate sauce? My favorite flavor, by the way. We're meant to be together. <laughs> to make our recipe today, you will need an ice cream mold of some sort. I purchased these silicone molds on Amazon and I love them. They are flexible, food grade, and easy to clean. And I like the fact that they're horizontal so I can put one layer in, freeze it a little bit, and then add a second layer. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna pick some of these up like mine. I have a two pack that makes eight popsicles. So let's talk about our mango. Now to pick out a mango, look for a smooth skin as opposed to a wrinkle skin. The color will have some green, but also some yellow and red. Mostly I go by feel. Basically, it's very much like picking out an avocado. You want it to be somewhat soft, but not too firm and not too mushy. So now let's cut up this mango. All right, first you're gonna look at your mango and you will notice an oval shape, hopefully. This will tell you how the seed lays. By my estimation, the seed is laying in this direction, most likely. Now, I've been wrong on occasion, so keep that in mind, but I'm pretty confident here. I'm gonna cut about a half an inch from the center on both sides. My knife should run along the side of the seed. If I hit the seed, I can turn my knife out a little bit so it goes around the seed and I can cut the piece off. Did you know that this piece is called a cheek? Then cut a half an inch off center on the other side. We'll end up with two cheeks and one seed. For the seed part, we'll just cut as much mango around the seed as we can get. I then make cuts into the small piece around the seed and then cut off the chunks. For the cheeks, I'll cut them like I would cut an avocado but make sure you don't cut through the skin. Then you invert the cheek, doesn't that look cool? And then you'll run your knife as close to the skin as you can as you cut off the chunks. Then we'll place the mango chunks into a blender and at some point, take a taste and see how sweet the mango is, you never know. Blend this up until it is perfectly pureed and set it aside. If it needs a little help, add some maple syrup, maybe a tablespoon. And also feel free to use any sweetener you like. Honey also works. And you can use other fruits if you like also, just feel free. Uh, I use some organic frozen strawberries and cherries. It's a great combination, by the way. I used about a heaping cupful. Let the fruit defrost before you blend it and add some syrup if you need it. Grab your molds and then start filling. I'm filling mine half full so that I have room for my coconut cream layer. So just spoon the mango puree in or the other fruit that you're using and then insert the stick. See the little hole for the stick? All you do is push the stick up through that hole about halfway up and voila, that's it. My molds came with 50 popsicle sticks, but I can assure you I will be getting more. In fact, I like this recipe so much that I plan to buy another set so that I, I can make a big batch of these. They are great for company and kids big and small. These popsicles are on the smaller side, which in my view makes them better, especially for kids, less mess. And for bigger kids like you and me, well, we can sample a couple of flavors without eating too much. Once you've got your molds half full, a great way to level them out easily is to shake or drop them from three or four inches up, like I'm doing here. Once the sticks are in, we'll pop these in the freezer so they can firm up a bit before we add the second layer. Actually, the puree is pretty thick to begin with, so you could just add the second layer now, as they won't bleed together much like they would if they were liquid. In the freezer they go. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. What hit song is a favorite amongst ice cream cakes? Life is but a cream. <laughs> While the popsicles are freezing, let's make our coconut cream layer. I'm using coconut cream from Trader Joe's. When you open the can, and stick a knife inside, you will notice a thick coconut layer on top and a more liquidy coconut milk underneath. 
I poured a little of this liquid out so that the coconut cream layer would be thicker and not so runny. Place this in a blender and add the dried coconut and a tablespoon of the maple syrup. Blend this up and see if you need to add any more maple syrup. I went for two tablespoons total. If you need more liquid to blend it, just add some of that coconut milk back to the blender. Then I like to pour this into a mason jar to just keep it nice and chilled until we're ready to use it. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, let me know by smashing the like button. Once we have our mango layer pretty much frozen or close to it, just so long as it doesn't bleed, we can start adding our second layer of coconut cream. Just spoon it right in and spread it out. Once you have both layers in the mold, put them in the freezer and they are edible in two to four hours and surely by overnight. Now, if you want to jazz these up a bit, here's what you can do. I love Guitard's cho milk chocolate chips, so I'm going to melt some in the microwave with a teaspoon or two of coconut oil to make it a spreadable consistency. Go 20 second intervals between each one until the chocolate is smooth and creamy. Now we're ready to dip. But first we have to get the popsicles out of the mold. So first push the ice cream part so it releases from the mold and then push that stick up and out of the hole. Then just dip that puppy into the chocolate and lay them on a rimmed plate with parchment paper to help keep them from sticking. I like to make some with and without chocolate. I hope you and your family enjoy making these and eating these popsicles. If you want to try more ice cream recipes, you're going to want to try my cookies and cream ice cream. Click the link on the screen and it will take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe. Cheers.